welcome everyone. This is, uh, this is vodka and mango. Just brought them down to the, to the lake. Nice leisurely 3k walk up here. Try to tell the dogs that they're absolutely dying for them. Good things. I got straight in the water and hadn't stopped drinking for the last two or three minutes. So, uh, yeah, just a nice easy walk today. Um, first time I've taken the dogs and it's not really easy to do a workout with a, or a, a fitness walk in with the dogs because they just go left and right and walk behind you and you get all tangled up and everything. But anyway, so today is just a nice easy zone one heart rate workout. I've got a heart rate strap that talks to the GPS app on, on the iPhone so I don't know exactly how hard my heart's working and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, Yesterday I had an awesome swim. Uh, Saturday I took the day off. Did, a, did an hour, an hour or so of uh, stretching and drank loads of beer. Um, and this afternoon I've got a, I've got a quite a tough swim that uh, Swimplan.com's given me for today. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, just, uh, just up here enjoying it. And mango. Oh yeah, I've got an update about the, the body in the lake. <laughs> turns out, um, turns out it wasn't a robber; it was the husband, and he lied about having dumped the body in the lake because um, he didn't want them to find the body. He didn't want the, the wife's family to be able to find the body and give it a proper funeral. I think. Uh, eventually, they found out he buried it in s some mango, um, mango farm, mango orchard, whatever, on some property. So they. Yeah, they dug up their remains and, and she's been cremated. And I guess that's the end of that. Except to say, it's kind of a relief to, not a relief, but it's, um, I guess it's a bit easier knowing it was somebody in the family. It makes it less likely there'll be a random, uh, random attacker out there. You know, so. Anyway, I guess that's all for now.